say because I done got two SD cards. So do this mean I don't need to film it? Let me fix my pillows in the back, y'all, because I got them all set up for how I sleep. <laughs> I came to do a story time because we have not done a story time in a very long time. And honestly, when you don't do a story time, it's because you don't deal with no drama. Like, I haven't done a story time in years because I have not dealt with any drama. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lonnie24k and I am a very bad storyteller. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can. I'm sure I'll have to cut a lot out. I have not had any drama in years, guys, in years. I've been drama free. I've been on my grown woman shit, trying just to stay out the mix. I live in a very small town, which could be very messy. You know what I'm saying? I've learned to not let things bother me, not to say things to the internet and just not to feed into certain things. So over the years, I've lived a very peaceful life, but once upon a time, I was not so peaceful. Once upon a time, I was that hot-headed young girl. I was young, I was about 16, 17. I was like, I didn't give a fuck, okay? The young me had that I don't give a fuck attitude. So <laughs> now with me being like older and I'm on my second kid now and I'm on just different things in life. I try not to feed into a lot of things, but like honestly when someone just keeps like bothering you, it's kind of aggravating or just keeps like picking with you, anything. And not to say, and not to like throw rocks behind my hand because like I'm not gonna just say that I have not said petty things in the past in, in response to someone reaching out and bothering me because I'm the type of person I don't bother nobody unless you come bother me first okay when it comes to things like that see, you know it's been a very long time since I said anything petty especially given my pregnancy aside from taking care of my kids and getting to the bag I don't fucking care I don't I don't care but me being pregnant and very hormonal these days I, I've been I've been seen to feed into shit that I just normally just would not care about. So if you follow me on Twitter, then I'm sure you've probably seen the little Twitter shenanigans and me just going in on Twitter, which I normally do not do. I'm going in on Twitter because someone, and we're not gonna say no names, we're gonna give her a name though. We're gonna call her um, Pam. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too deep into details because like I understand why famous people never respond back because I be forgetting I have the following that I have. So like you can get clout off of me, <laughs> and it's weird to say like you can you can you can mention my name and you can get clout off of me. 24k, like it's it's crazy. Pam decided to make TikToks about me. And these TikToks were very specific. Both TikToks were very specific. And now previously before, I had seen that Pam had said something on the internet, basically like regarding to like a pack of lashes, right? Y'all, I'm not even kidding. Why do I have, why did I have like that pack of lashes in my vlog when I went out of town with my baby daddy? That vlog that I just posted, the Atlanta vlog. So, I was like, hmm, well, maybe that could just be a coincidence, like whatever, I'm not gonna address that. So when it came to the two TikToks, the two TikToks were very, very specific. One of them said um, something about, I clout chased off of being fast at a young age and that's how I got my following. And then the next one was me having two deadbeat baby daddies. So I'm just gonna address both of those things here. The first one, with me clout chasing, um, how can I ever clout chase something that has happened in my life? <laughs> but anything that I speak about on my channel, it's about my life. And I share my experiences to help other young women. These days, like 17 year old me, that comment would have hurt my feelings, you know, because I have been called like the worst things you can imagine in the book. Everything under the sun from being fast to being a whore to being dumb to being naive to being ex. I mean, like literally every single thing I have been called. But I am so comfortable with who I am as a woman and as a mother. I don't even care about that. But like it's just like if you gonna try to be petty towards me at least like at least come with facts at least come with facts at least give your girl credit where it's due because at the end of the day yeah i had a baby young and that's literally the only thing that anybody could ever say about me ever 
ever. I mean, like I've heard so many jokes and anytime I've ever gotten to it with a female, that's the first thing they run to say. Like I have been called hot and ready, like Little Caesars. I have been like, and that one stuck with me. So the bitch who said that years ago, <laughs> That was a good one. Like I've just been called so many things under the sun when it has come to me getting pregnant at 13. But like at the end of the day, I know my story. I know what I went through being young. And I know like at the end of the day, I wasn't on no ho shit. I wasn't on no like being fast shit. I was on some, if you knew me and you knew me back then, I was very mature for my age and I, was lost i was lost i was a lost little girl looking for love you know what i'm saying i didn't have any guidance i had one dead mom and i had another parent that was not very active in my life so i was looking for love and at the end of the day if you know me you know that story whatever it is i don't have to explain that second thing two deadbeat baby daddies i do not have two deadbeat baby daddies like when i say i'm a single mom like I think that I take it out of context because a single mom is someone like I do I do I do pull more weight as a mother like so I do feel like I'm a single mom because I don't have a partner that's here with me you know what I'm saying that's like we're living together and we're doing this together so at the end of the day I am a single mother but like my both of my kids have very good dads and that's just what it is okay you you guys want to know why you never hear me say anything about a baby daddy and it's because it's nothing to say about them like it's nothing to bring them up we're family these are two young men that are going to be in my life for the rest of my life i'm not going to get on here and bash them i'm not going to get on here and talk about them we go through things like family and private and that's just what it is and we we make it out and the next day it's all love for both of them so that's that but like if you're gonna speak on me at least at least just at least just have facts and so I took it upon myself because I have been letting things slide. You know, this person has reached out to me multiple times just to constantly let me know that they are messing with this guy. And I don't care. Like I didn't care the first time. I didn't care the second time. I have never approached this person about dealing with this guy. It's, but this time I decided to speak on it because why are you speaking on me? Like. You want to deal with him and you like you mad at him go be mad at him that don't have anything to do with me so i basically just wrote the girl and i was just like you know do you have any under underlying issues? do you have any underlying issues that you want to address because i'm just trying to figure it out like if you have a problem with me bring me that problem just come to me with that problem and like we can address it whatever you whatever you want to do and whatever type of time you're on then that's what i'm going to be on so what are you what what do you want to get out of these petty TikToks because if you wanted a reaction well now you're gonna get the reaction that you want out of me i'm pregnant i'm hormonal as fuck so like i can't just like brush keep brushing it off and moving forward past it well that's what i thought so that started a whole thing and like honestly y'all arguing with her made my head hurt so bad you can just tell when you argue with someone who just don't really have nothing to say so they just start saying stuff like just like it's like giving it give like kitty argument like you go call somebody ugly who you know is not ugly like y'all i got told i look like a bad bug is she trying to be funny because i'm black <laughs> because that's what i'm getting like because i'm growing and i've learned to like not feed my energy into things that are just not going to matter in life so arguing with her was very draining and like confusing and stupid because she wasn't saying anything that was worth anything saying so i went and deleted all my tweets because honestly i go back and forth like do i respond do i not respond do i feed my energy into this do i not feed my energy into this and that's my story time guys that's that's really it it was really quick and short i don't have nothing else to say though I don't have nothing else to say. Don't feed your energy into bull crap. And that's it. That's the business. Yep. Hi, blog. So I actually have not been back since I done that little story time. I actually ended up going to eat. And I went live on um, 
Instagram. I think I'm gonna start going live on Instagram because it's kind of fun. I got a lot of new supporters on Instagram. So today I'm home. Well, so today I'm home and like, if you guys remember, if you guys remember the boys, the boys are here and I have just, I need to get my energy back right because these past couple of days have been like a lot, for, especially from like that drama and then like how I've been feeling and like, like I said y'all, always when I have good moments, like y'all know I had that rough patch back in September, October, it was pretty rough for me, feelings wise, business wise good, but like now, I'm like getting overwhelmed and like I'm just trying to get everything ready for the baby to get here and on top of that then I have unnecessary drama to deal with and like things that I'm trying to get accomplished so like I just have a lot that I'm dealing with and I feel like I feel myself getting overwhelmed and like really really stressed so I'm going to use this essential oils I have these essential oils it's called peace let me see is it gonna focus okay it's called peace so i'm just going to do that on my diffuser to just give me some good energy and then i cut my phone off no phone and i got some stress relief the honey lavender stress relief tea that i'm making just so i can like try to get my energy back in line because you know i'm growing a baby and i want to like I said, y'all, if you want to be happy and you want things to go good for you, you got to create your own happiness. I have let like unnecessary ass people into my energy these past couple of days. And when I'm, I'm so emotional being who I am. Like when, when you piss me off, like I get so pissed to the point where like I'll be like pissed about it for days or like, I just, just a lot. So Today is the day before Thanksgiving. Y'all know I'm a procrastinator, so I got some business stuff to do today. I got the clean. I'm finna clean my room and mop, fold these clothes. I got two baskets of laundry to do. So we got a lot to do. Y'all just gonna come with me. This is my 31 week vlog. I have not been vlogging all week because I haven't been home. So this is my 31 week vlog and we started off we fixing it. Cause in the beginning of this vlog, it was hella drama. But like now, we're getting that together. It's no drama. I'm not feeding into nothing anymore. I'm not letting anybody get me out of my character anymore. And um, yeah, good positive vibes. So let's get started. Do y'all want a belly update before we get started? This is y'all nephew, y'all. And him is growing, him is growing. Nine more weeks, and we'll have a little baby here. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have a little baby. My life is just going to be more different. I'm nervous, and I'm scared, but hey, time to wait on nobody, and he's gonna be here soon. All right, y'all, I'm going to get my water from my diffuser, and then I'll be back.
Hey guys, so this part of the video is sponsored by Rose Forever, which is a New York based rose company that was launched in 2019. They design luxury rose boxes with natural roses that will last for a year. This is my third time working with Rose Forever. Those red roses that you guys seen, I have had those for years. I wanna say it's been about more than a year, like a year and a half that I have had those roses and they have lasted a long time. So when they reached out to me and they wanted to send me another bouquet of roses, of course you guys know I had to get the color blue because I'm having a baby boy. I've entered that phase in life where I really love flowers and like, roses and so with these roses lasting a long time you kind of get what you spend your money for you know because when you guys go out and buy real roses they don't really last long but these do last a long time and they were they give you such a luxury feel but they're not they don't have that expensive price tag that the luxury roses have so you get the luxury roses for an affordable price if you guys are interested in these roses i will have the link to rose forever in my description box down below they will also be having a big christmas sale and i have a coupon code down below that is for 25 dollars off your order so if you guys are interested definitely check them out these roses are super duper cute will be a cute christmas gift or a baby gift if you know someone having a baby so check them out if you guys are interested Fresh on the wake up, okay? I ain't did nothing. I have done nothing. Literally nothing. I'm about to make breakfast, but happy Thanksgiving. Um, it's 12.41 and I'm making breakfast. Um, Y'all know I didn't cook. Yeah, no, I was not cooking. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook breakfast. The boys are here, so I'm gonna show y'all the boys once they get up. I'm actually not feeling it today. Um, last, last Thanksgiving I was drunk. <laughs> last Thanksgiving I was drunk, so. I guess I didn't really think about it this Thanksgiving. I really miss my grandma a lot, so. Hello. Hey, Dad. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know. How are you feeling the vibes today? Right now I'm making breakfast. Well, we just, we all just got up, so. <laughs> Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Make it so long for the next so cheap. Being flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl, you got it. blog so I'm about to do my makeup Child, I'm out of breath it's six o'clock on Thanksgiving day of course I'm getting dressed at the last minute I was trying to edit all morning so that's why I'm late to the living room and I honestly was not gonna go nowhere but I was like let me not sit in here and mope let me get up and Go do stuff this is my way of getting up and going to my family events hopefully they're not hopefully they're not finished like the family events 
little piece. I cannot get this little piece right here to stay down for nothing in this world. Um, honey is the celebrity now, baby. I ain't a celebrity no more. He done took all the attention. Don't nobody care to see me. It's straight for the bump. They go straight for the bump. They want to see the baby. Darian! Darian! Huh? Come here. Ma'am? Come here. Say hey to the vlog. Come say hey. Hey. You gotta come right here. So they can see you. They can't see you. Do y'all remember him? Hey. What grade you in now? Six. Y'all, if y'all, okay. That's all you gotta say? Okay. All right, you can close the door. If you guys are OG Lonnie Gang, then y'all remember the boys. And that's one of them. They're getting so big now. Put the vlog too. Bye. Yeah, let them see you too. You're fit. Fit check. They want to see you, girl. They want to see you looking cute. Talk to them. They missed you. How long have they not seen me? Um, this whole week on the vlog, I think. No. I need edge control because this is not staying down. No. You don't want to say hey? Hi. And How have y'all been? Ugh. Come here, come here really quick. Did y'all put on some deer? No, you don't have to lie. I literally got something in my bag. That's gross. Come by me. Daniel didn't put on the other. You gonna tell his Don't we look like each other today? Twinsies. Okay. We don't even have the same clothes on. So, can you go give me the edge control? Uh, thank you. We're watching me shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Come over and check up on it. package I'm about to film a brand deal for which is really late by the way actually but better late than never right I love unboxing they're so cool when you unbox them like unboxing they sent me a sticker and this is my very first status box so they sent that this is so cool they give you a checklist Yes, and this is what it looks like. I'm liking this. I think this has been my favorite part of pregnancy. Getting belly oils. So I like trying all the new belly oils. I'll tell y'all how I feel, how I like it afterwards. And they put some like saran wrap over it so that it doesn't spill. Super smart. I'll tell y'all how I like it and then depending on how I like it, I might link it down below. But basically what I was gonna say y'all before I film this really quick is that I'm super stuffed. I'm like really tired and hurting. But I got dressed earlier. I'm gonna insert, well as you guys have already watched, I inserted some clips from like me getting cute and all that good stuff but like I never showed y'all the finishing touch on camera because I was like trying to eat <laughs> and I was late to the first event so after I finally did eat I kind of just chilled out and it's about 12 o'clock at night it's 12 it's almost 1 and I'm about to get in the bed and just do some editing but I just wanted to update y'all and we can do a little belly update. Belly bump bump date. I don't know the vibe.
feel and then some type of smell good y'all oh my god mm, it smells so good like i like this a lot so i don't know i'm gonna keep using it i'm gonna update y'all on how i really really like it but i'm liking this this is gonna be my i'm pretty sure this is gonna be my last little bottle before he gets here y'all okay i'm done talking i'm, I'm getting to work good night y'all Oh, are you going? Oh, looks like, um, yeah, we're playing in the black one. Number, color, oh, I'm like, you name it. Yep. Wait, so, yeah, that's a fact. Long as it's the same color. Yeah, I'm going to go. Okay, not color, but like, four numbers. Yes. Yeah. And you already did it. Thank <laughs> you.